all right welcome back to my youtube channel we have a question on the board let's let's look at it calculate the value of a resistor which when connected in parallel with 15 ohm resistor will give a combined resistor of 9 ohm in cases like this you have to understand the question very well this is a question that we are asked in a parallel form, in a, a question in a parallel circuit form. They are asking that there is a resistor that is connected to 15 ohm, but it's in parallel. That will give us 9 ohms. So what you do is that you can decide to write it in what? You can, you can decide to plot it in a diagram form. So let's see the diagram. So let's say this is our resistor 1. And this is our resistor 2 in parallel. So this becomes our VT. So let's say this is this. It becomes our VT plus um, positive negative. So this is our R1. So our R1, which is 15 ohms. So you see what they are saying. So they are saying that there is a resistor connected to 15 ohms. That will give you a combined, so this becomes our total current. So they are saying there is a resistor connected to resistor 1. That will give you what? So this one is unknown. That will give you an equivalent resistor. Equivalent means that the total of it will give you what? 9 ohms. Now, in cases like this, what you do, okay, VT, pause there, okay. What you do is that they look at this question very well. They said they have the answer as 9 ohm, but we don't know how to. So what do you do? You bring the formula of how to find um, resistors in parallel, which is this is two resistors. So R1 plus R2. So 1 over RT. Our, our RT is what? 9. That is the combined resistor. It's 9. So 1 over 9 is equal to 1 over what? 15. So this we count R2. Minus, you see? Okay, plus 1 over R2. We don't know R2. So what do we do? We bring the 1 over R2 because that is what we are looking for. So 1 over R2 is equal to 1 over 9 minus you see this as it cross the what the equal sign become minus over what 1 over 15 1 over r2 so let's see 1 over 9 what it will give us 1 divided by 9 will give us um, 0 0.11 minus 1 divided by 15 will give us 0 0.67. Will give us 0 0.67. So here, what you do is that you let your R2 stand alone, which is equal to, let's see, 0 0.11 minus 0 0.67. No, zero point, uh, sorry, sorry, there is a mistake here. One divided by 15. No, it's, it's supposed to be zero point zero six seven. So let's, let's check carefully. Zero point one 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 minus zero point zero six seven. The answer becomes zero point zero four four. So here we see our R2 is equal to 1 over 0 0.044. So our R2 becomes 1 divided by 0 0.044 becomes 22.7 ohms. Now let's try to use the least common multiple formula. So what you do is that you bring 1 over RT here. No, here you bring 1 over the least common multiple way, which is 1 over R1 
plus 1 over R2. So what we have here is 1 over 9 is equal to 1 over 1 over 9, 1 over 9, 1 over 15 plus 1 over R2. So you bring 1 over R2 here, which is equal to 1 over 9 minus 1 over 15. 1 over R2 is equal to so let's find the least common multiples of 9 and 15. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. 15, let's look at 15. 15, 30, and 45. So you see 9 into 45, we have what? 9 to 45, we have 5. 15 into 45, we have 3 over 45. So here our 1 over R2 becomes 2 over 45, which is our 1 over R2 becomes, here becomes, stands alone 45. When you do cross, multipli cross multiplication, R2 stands alone 45 divided by 2, our R2 becomes 45 divided by 2 gives us 22. 0.5 ohms. You see that they look similar. This is 22.7. This is 22.5. So that is the answer when it, they ask you this kind of question, the stated statement form. Plot it in the diagram first and it will help you to use. So you can either use this formula or use this formula and you arrive at the same answer. Thank you very much. Subscribe, share my video. Bye-bye. See you in another video. Bye-bye.